Oh, we're here in Broad's Fork in Big Cottonwood Canyon at about 8,000 feet in elevation, straight north facing slope. It's 24 degrees where we are. We walked out onto the slope and the entire thing collapsed, so we know it is unstable and it's not steep enough to slide. Good thing to know. <laughs> and we're gonna look at all the slopes between 8,000 and about 9,500 feet that are shady. And to see this weak layer, this obvious weak layer, how weak it is, if it's gaining strength or still um, very weak. And uh, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So we're gonna do an extended column test, 10 from the wrist. And from the elbow. There we go. So it, it was five more from the elbow and it did propagate all the way across this column. So uh, it's, that's what we're looking at. That's, that would be, if we were on a slope that was steep enough to slide, this would have been our avalanche. This would have been the weak layer, but this slab is definitely big enough and hefty enough to take you for a nasty ride and go a long distance. So this is a bad weak layer. Just really weak, sugary, looks like salt crystals runs through your fingers. <clears throat> this is dry, completely dry. It's not getting wet at all but you can still just shove your arm into it like this. <laughs> so, it's pretty obvious what's going on. Here we are, we're at uh, 8130 feet, northwest facing slope this time. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Once again, it makes a nice avalanche <laughs> that you wouldn't want to be in. One. Now we're at uh, 8551. Uh, same place in Broad's Fork. Uh, this is a straight north facing slope, uh, 20 degree in steepness. And um, we're more towards on a little bit of a ridge, so not the best place to be digging. So it's probably a little bit of wind affected. But we'll just see what it is here. I suspect it's stronger. Yeah, I can't get it. To, there it oh. goes finally. And this one went down on a different layer, down to the depth core right by the ground, and not on this layer. So this layer is, a little, this is what has been going on in all the other snow pits. And this feels stouter here and a little bit more spatially variable. So it could have been, there might be some ski tracks in here or more wind affected on that layer. We went right on the ground. So I guess, Bruce, what, what's your uh, strategy right now in the mountains with the current state of the snowpack? You know, with this layer, it's any time with faceted snow, especially a thin layer of faceted snow with a slab above it, that makes me really suspicious. I just don't like this layer. I didn't like it a week ago when I was digging snow pits. I don't like what we found today. I mean, me, I am not getting on anything steeper than 30 degrees on the shady side of the shady side of the compass, excuse me, um, because it's just not worth it. I mean, this is propagating fractures. I don't like it. I want to die as an old man, not right now. <laughs>